State inspection reports show that sometime between 2011 and 2013, cracks started appearing along this northbound section of the Lakeshore Drive Bridge. The 33-year-old 407-meter portion of the bridge had a sufficiency rating above the level that could qualify for federal funding to repair it. The actual joint actually um, bound up causing excessive movement. But we learned that the bridge's design is archaic. The city no longer builds their structures like this. Okay. Mark Barkowski, chairman of the Illinois Road Builders Association, explained that expansion joints like this one usually line up with the concrete girder underneath it. While the Federal Highway Administration does not consider this design inherently unsafe, it can lead to priority status for replacement and rehabilitation. Lakeshore Drive has been plagued with bridge deterioration issues over the years. In 2017, three LSD bridges made the list of the top 25 structurally deficient bridges in Illinois. Also in 2017, inspection records show that the southbound section of this bridge actually had a significantly lower rating than the northbound part that cracked. Before a fix in 2008, the Stevenson Bridge over Lakeshore Drive was considered less safe than the bridge that collapsed in Minneapolis the year before, killing 13 people. It's about making sure that what happened a year ago in Minnesota doesn't happen here in Illinois. That Minnesota bridge was also classified as structurally obsolete, among other issues. Fortunately, the danger in this case was spotted in time. But Barkowski says it underscores the need to make funding for maintenance a priority. A reliable, steady funding source for the state of Illinois is really what we need. Um, people can plan for uh, repairs instead of um, showing up for failures. Now, CDOT tells us that in response to this incident, they are going to be completing spot checks at other similar bridge structures. Live in Lakeshore East, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 News.